I am Michael. Greetings. Welcome, Michael. Hi, thank you for coming. It is my pleasure. So I that, heard you were speaking of fallen angels. Yes, um, there are two questions intertwined, fallen angels and um, angels incarnated as humans. I think it's somehow connected. No, not really. Okay. Let me explain. Fallen angels, or those that decide to leave the angelic realm, realms, are those considered fallen. What it is, is this. They have decided that, well, in some cases, decided that they had as much right to create and be and control as God. And so, with that attitude, God said, if that is what you want, then go and do it. And if, if that is what you want, you cannot stay with me, because I am in charge of the angelic realms. If you do not want me to be in, your, in charge with you, then you must go and be on your own. Mm -hmm. And I will not help you. And you are making this choice on your own. So they have decided to be on their own apart from God. And the word death, if you look it up, means separation from God. So they are death. Their life and in death is that they are the negative forms. But yet, in many ways, they serve God still because even though they are in their negative forms and even though they do that which is not positive, well, they can do positivity, but it is not recognized as being positive because of the way they are doing it. But they are in realms that they control the negativity and what is to be done in those realms. They do not have to hurt anyone. They do, and they don't. They do what they please. They act as if they are their own gods and that they know what is best for them and others. And they try to persuade others that this is the way that they should be. But if they do not accept their ways, then they still come here to the heavenly realms. If they accept fully the darkness, then they become part of death. The true meaning of death is separation from God. And so, with true death, that means that there is no positivity in God. There is no relationship with God. So, therefore, it does not mean that they pass, necessarily. They will go into a different realm of negativity, and not into the realms of positivity which are here, but then to the realms of negativity which are somewhere else. And God knows where that is, but we do not care. It is called Hades or hell by you, but it is really not what they portray it to be. Now, that is the definition of the fallen, the ones who choose to be not part of God. And he did not cast them out as it was spoken, but they chose to leave. So are they, so it is, then all the angels are not in this physical world, right? They are elsewhere no. in angelic realms. So they are so in an Angelic realm, yes. So uh, the fallen ones just are in a separate angelic realm? They are a separate realm. I would not call it angelic because it is a realm outside 
of where they were created. The realm which they were created in, the realm I was created in, is an angelic realm. Outside of this realm is not angelic. Right. So it's outside of our creation, outside of an angelic realm, some other place which is uh, a place for fallen. And yes. this is multiple places. They each, each one have individual realm, right? Some of them work together and mm -hmm. some of them do not. Some of them call on others of their own types to help them with certain projects of negativity, if you will, and others do not. Lucifer, the main one, the first one, mm -hmm. the one that was the first to decide to leave, has the greatest of all the powers because he considered himself as great as God, and that is why he wanted to leave. God gave him great abilities, great powers, and great understanding. And when they had a disagreement, he was the first to leave. And when he left, he took all his powers with him. And he is against God. Of all the, those that are in negative realms, Lucifer is the one that is against what God stands for. Some of the other ones just would prefer to be on their own and independent in a negative way, or even sometimes in a positive way, but they are not part of God's realm any longer. I see. Did they create their own creation, or are they still operating without creation? They are creator beings. They can create things, yes. So they have their own universes? They could. I do not know if they do, but I would imagine they have large areas that they set aside for themselves. Mm -hmm. And how much are they involved on Earth at the moment? They are always involved in Earth. Earth was one of the reasons why Lucifer chose to fall. He wanted to be a ruler of many planets, and Earth was one of them. Uh huh. Is he still involved with Earth now? Yes. What's, what's his involvement? He wants to destroy the Ascension. He wants to be with the Cabal ah. and with the Illuminati to hold things back, to not move forward into the light, not into the next movement of evolution, not into the next density. He wants to stay very third dimensional and be able to rule it in a very magical way. Wow. So the, the Earth Project is still a mess? Of course. Wow. All right. Um, now, mm -hmm. the other portion of your question. Mm -hmm. Angels who decide to come to Earth to be part of what is happening. There are two different versions of that. Uh -huh. One version is that they are angel, human-born angels, right. which means that they are still <clears throat> part of the angelic realms when they return. Uh -huh. And then there are those that just come to Earth to be part of the Earth mm -hmm. and take on sexuality and take on these kinds of earthly things and live a life and die. Mm -hmm. Those are the two kinds of angels that come to Earth. So these the, souls would become uh, incarnating souls, reincarnating souls, and, uh, and return to the area of human, yes. human souls? Yes. So some they, of the... They would be... They, will, they go from a created realm where they were created mm -hmm. to a realm where they die, and when they come back, they are born into humanity and 
will always be that way forevermore. Uh huh. Are there names for those? Oh, go ahead. Is there a name for those? I do not know what to call those, but All the right. angels that choose to become human, mm -hmm. they are not necessarily fallen. Okay. But those angels that choose to be born into humanity as an angelic figure when they when they when their mission is coming about they have chosen to come to earth at this time to help hold the light for ascension to help defeat satan in his battle for rulership of the planet okay so um the ones who live their angelic realm forever and join the reincarnation cycle of uh, evolving species, right? Evolving souls. I understand that. And the ones which just incarnate for to experience humanity and help humanity and to come back as angels, uh, are, they, are they aware? How many of them are unaware that they're angels? Many of them, right? Many of them that are in human-born angels mm -hmm. have not been able to connect with their angelic portion properly uh -huh. as Earth is a very tough density. Mm -hmm. There are some that know that they are angels but cannot, still cannot relate to the third-dimensional patterns and density. But they know that they have a mission because they are, have portions of angelic thought processes within them. And there are many of these such angels on earth now. They are still doing good because they do hold light very well. Even though they do not understand the density, they still are able to hold the light on the planet. Even in a state of confusion, you can hold light for the planet. Right. But they're usually is a greater mission when this happens, that angels come and are born into the society. This usually has a greater meaning and a greater purpose. And they must find it, or else they will not carry it out, of course. And that will be less of a defeat against Satan their, their missions are to defeat him in many ways. Yes. So the ones which are incarnated angels, not remembering their, their angelic nature, they still have sex and live normal human lives, right? Correct. Uh -huh. <clears throat> So the angels were existed before the creation, right? Correct. Do the angels ever die? No. Angels are eternal. They are created for eternity. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And I still been produced, right? Still what? The the new ones are still being produced by God, right? There are some that still can be produced by God. If some choose to leave, he will replace them with newer additions of angels. Oh, so it's not an active production, it's just replacements. There are enough angels, 10,000 and 10,000. There are enough angels to do the work of God that needs to be done. When there is more work to do for the angels, he creates more. There is a great army of angels that is more than you can count on your planet. But to create more at this time is not necessary. So when you mentioned 10,000 and 10,000, it's, it's a pretty small number. Did you really mean it? 10,000 times 10,000. It's very little. I mean, can, can, considering the size of creation, it's just nothing. Yes, but I also just said, we are more numerable than you can count. 
So it wasn't a real number. No, I just used it as an example. Okay. Um, now the angels are more ancient than the creation, so they uh, are more ancient than your creation. Okay. God is the beginning. God is creation. Right. He is the oldest of all beings and the oldest of energies that exist, that have always existed. And we came soon after. So we came before he created many things. So, I mean, uh, angels are more ancient than uh, life in physical universe. Correct. So the angels might have taken first the forms of early organisms, like maybe more like first you were like insects and then reptilians and then humans, right? It is possible. <laughs> but usually those things die. So if they were, if we were part of that, they are things that are still with us today. So I think what I'm saying that being, uh, being in the shape of an insect is as natural for angels as, as being in the shape of a human, isn't is it right? We could shape any way that we wish. Right. So historically, I would say in evolutionary terms, you were, for a long time, you were shaping as insects and then only recently you became more like human. Is it right? Mm, not necessarily. When we were created, we were created in the angel form mm -hmm. with many abilities. Of course, we could take the shape of an insect if we wished, or an amoeba, or a human, or whatever. But it is not necessary for the purpose of our duties and our missions to usually do so, unless we are told to by God. Uh, do you have DNA? I would imagine that our DNA is especially different. But yes, of course there is. So are humans related to angels? Do you, did you give us your DNA sequence? No. You have a different DNA sequence. Our DNA sequence lasts forever, but yours is perishable. Aha. Uh -huh. I was hoping to find some genetic relation, some genetic races of angels on, on Earth. But if our DNA is unrelated, then it's not possible, I guess. It is made in the same way, but it does not work in the same way. Let me explain. You are born and changed throughout your lifetimes from youth to older, from to middle age to getting older and we never age at all and so we do not need the functions of dna that you have within yours our dna functions just as a stabilizer for our being where yours is an actual release of different things within the system at different times Okay, let me clarify how I did come to this question. So I started looking for angelic incarnations on Earth. Yeah. Like looking around who would be a good candidate for being an incarnated angel. And I found few. And as I, as I started looking closer to people, I recognized angelic features in almost everyone. More and more people were had uh, some of angelic features. So... My guess is that these people, many people on earth, are connected to angels either genetically or spiritually or likely both. Can you somehow substantiate that hypothesis? That is true. There are some spiritually connected, some physically connected, and some 
and some that are in between that mm -hmm. in some way. Yes, and they will, you will find some angelic features with them, no matter which of these things it is. So how is it possible for a human soul to get some threads of angelic nature in the soul? Usually it is that the angel volunteers to give them to them. Oh, so that's simple. A vibration, an angelic vibration just joins the human soul, right? Correct. It is a gift. Wow. And um, how could a human physically get some angelic um, formula? Genetics, I guess. There is the one group of aliens that deal with hybridization that will deal with angelic hybridization wow. because we can communicate with them. Can you share more? Yes. We usually do not give too much DNA to humans uh -huh. because it becomes corrupted, uh -huh. but it also adds to their longevity and to their positive nature. Wow. But it, so it is a positive thing for us to do. But remember, we only have so much existence, so much material. And if we give it away, we become less. That doesn't make a lot of sense. Why, Why not? would it? I mean, if you just share the, the allow to share your um, program, you don't get less of the program. You just copy it. Not for you. You are human. I am a created being, all self-sustained. And with you, you have blood cells and bone marrow and things that create more essence for you. We have nothing in our systems that do that. I guess if we use some of your codes, it is possible that their chaos from us is transmitted through resonance to your essence and can pollute your essence. That danger of sharing, I understand, but Copying is a copying. You cannot really, like, if you give something to us, do you, have, do you have to delete it from your program? It is automatically deleted from us. Oh, I see. I see. And so it is special people that get these small amounts of angelic material. Either that or they choose to be reborn into the human form so that they do not have any kind of degeneration and return fully to their angel position. I see. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That's all I had uh, for today, unless you have anything else to add. No. It was a joy to talk to you, though. Thank you for sharing. It's... Um, it's I got lots of new insights. Interesting. Much love to you. Much love.